George, a, a goal and a win, nice way to go into the World Cup break. Yeah, fantastic. Obviously disappointed on Tuesday night. Um, we knew we weren't anywhere near our best and uh, it was important to, to go off on a high. And, uh, you know, it wasn't, wasn't our best by any stretch first half, but second half we showed again real character and, you know, made it difficult for the opposition. And, uh, yeah, delighted to, uh, to get the match winner. Did it feel like with a bit of extra effort in that second half that it was a game that was there for the taking? Yeah, I wouldn't say a lack of effort. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that at all because the boys in there, you know, it is, it is a bit weird, obviously the World Cup being in the middle of the season, but I think it's a, a bit of a blessing for us and our squad because we've got players out there who shouldn't really be playing. That's, um, you know, I'm not hiding away from the truth. Uh, players playing with injuries and stuff like that. So, you know, credit to them. So I'm not saying it's a lack of effort at all. Sometimes it's just a case of uh, needing a little break and, uh, you know, the games have come thick and fast and just caught up with, caught up with us a bit. But uh, like I said, great character second half to, to push through. Uh, we knew it would be a tough 45 minutes, but you know we knew we had a break after. So, you know, everyone put their bodies on the line and you know got a very, very important three points. And that's been part of the story, hasn't it? That with so many players out, people have had to change positions, different positions, do this, that, and the other. But everyone's kind of dug in today, haven't they? Yeah, of course. And obviously, um, you know, me being a player here, I know the the ins and outs of of people's situations. And there are a lot of players who you know are pushing their bodies to the absolute limit and and beyond. Um, so it makes it even more sweeter to uh, to get the win and uh, yeah, like I said, end, end this uh, little period on a high. And a sweet moment for you as well, getting the, the winner, really nice finish off the right hand side and, and credit too to, to James McAtee who made a big impact off the bench at half time. Yeah, obviously he's a, he's a top quality player, great talent, still obviously learning the game and young, but I think he's made like tremendous, tremendous strides um, from his first kind of few games to now you can see he's really growing in confidence. Uh, playing the position brilliantly and uh, yeah it was a joy to play with today you know I found him quite a few times in that little pocket of space uh, inside the box and you know we know the quality he's got so uh, yeah fantastic intelligent player. What is it about scoring against Welsh opponents <laughs> not quite as, as dramatic as the last one but but still I'm sure you're pleased with the finish. Yeah delighted and they were giving me stick like I seem to get every away ground uh, first half on that corner so uh, uh, yeah great goal to uh, to shut them up. And the celebrations after the goal as well, and and at the end of the game, just kind of reward as well for for the day's efforts. Yeah, I mean, you know, this uh, I've been at this been at this club for many years now, and it's uh, you know it's a joy to play for, and uh, scoring a goal for for this club um, in front of our uh, amazing fans is is a, speci is a special feeling. And like I've alluded to before, uh, I don't really have a, a specialist celebration. I don't score often enough, so uh, yeah, just uh, let the emotions take the better of me and. Yeah, great to celebrate in front of them. For now, going into the World Cup break, top of the top of the division. I mean, it might not stay that way tomorrow, but that, that's got to be a big point from where you were a few weeks ago with that, that run where you couldn't get a win. Yeah, definitely. Um, we finished the first period before the last international break top and we're flying high. Had to go through a blip uh, for various reasons. Um, I don't actually think we, we, we played badly um, in a lot of those games. We just you know didn't get the rub of the green and maybe dropped below par in some. Uh, but then, yeah, bounce back. Uh, four out of five wins in the last kind of couple of weeks. So, yeah, we'll take that. And uh, you know, we've got top quality players coming back after the World Cup. And yeah, hopefully we can improve because we need to. We don't have an, as many points as as we want to. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. And have you got that Senegal flag ready for the next few weeks? Absolutely buzzing for him. Um, you know, I spoke to the media uh, after the Burnley game. I think you know, everyone knows how much I think of the the kid. He's he's a special talent, and uh, absolutely everyone's made up for him. That just shows uh, that just shows you the kind of person he is. Not not even talking about him as a player, just the kind of person. When everyone's delighted for you for for such an achievement, you know, um, yeah, you know he's a great kid. So absolutely, I'll be watching him. Uh, can't wait.